Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to today's devotion, brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. I am the Reverend Father Bradley Miller, the rector of St. Luke's Parish in South Eleuther. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rest of the past night and for the gift of a new day with its opportunities of pleasing you. Grant that we may so pass its hour in perfect freedom of your service, that at evening we may again give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our scripture reading for today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, Matthew chapter 10, verse 16 through 22. Jesus said, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and be flogged in their synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say, for it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death and father his children. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by everyone because of me, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. The word of the Lord. Today, my brothers and sisters in Christ, today in the life of the Christian church, we celebrate this day, the feast of St. George the Martyr. And we remember all those churches bearing the name St. George. We remember St. George in New Providence. We remember St. George in Cedar Harbor, Abaco. And we remember St. George in South Caicos in the Turks and Caicos Islands. We remember the priests and the people there. And we pray God's blessing on their ministry. And we pray God to keep them faithful in the vineyard to which God has placed them. As we reflect on this passage of scripture today, in this passage of scripture, my brothers and sisters, we have what is known as faith, <laughs> hatred, and opposition. In this text, Jesus prepares his disciples for coming persecution. My brothers and sisters, let me begin by saying this. If Jesus faced opposition and persecution, if his disciples faced opposition and persecution, let me tell you now, as Christians, we are not exempted from opposition nor persecution. You see, let me say this, living for Jesus will bring persecution, but the good news for all of us is found in John 16 and 33, when Jesus says, in this world you will have trouble, but don't worry, he says, I have already overcome the world. In other words, my brothers and sisters, Jesus does not abandon us in our struggles. But we must remember, the ultimate victory has already been won. So take courage and don't get distracted. Jesus calls us as he did to his disciples to stand firm, be strong, because only those who persevere will win the crown of life. So my brothers and sisters, what is Jesus' message to us this morning as we reflect on the life of the martyr St. George? First, Jesus said, I am sending you out like sheep in the midst of wolves. So we must remember who sends us. We, must, we were not sent by the bishop. We were not sent by mother or father. 
We are not sent by the institutional church. We are sent by Jesus. And if we are sent by him, it is in his name that we come. It is under his guidance and leading that we come. We come on his authority. So that means Jesus has our back. That means that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. My sisters and brothers, even though Jesus says we are like sheep in the midst of wolves, it also means that we must not be sheep-like in our attitude, but sensible and prudent. We must not be gullible pawns, but neither are we to be deceitful connivers. God sends us out as disciples, and he warns us, so all of us knew what we were getting into when we decided to take up our cross and to follow the master, because Jesus never lied, trick, or trap anyone to follow him. My brothers and sisters, Jesus calls us to stop being cowards and to stand for him. Remember in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, we are told, God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power and love and self-discipline. In other words, Jesus says, in the midst of persecution, do not allow people to intimidate you. For when we allow people to intimidate us, we weaken ourselves and become ineffective as Christians. Secondly, Jesus said in verse 21, Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rebel against parents and have them put to death. In other words, brothers and sisters, persecution will be at all levels, even in our homes. Persecution could come from spouses. Persecution could come from father and mother. Persecution could come from children. Persecution could come on your job. Persecution could come from the community. Persecution could come from the government. And yes, persecution could come even within the church. Thirdly, Jesus said in verse 22, All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. In other words, brothers and sisters, when you see people coming up against you and they say things that like, I can't stand him or her, they are not coming up against you. It is that which is in you that they can't stand. So my brothers and sisters, Jesus calls us in the midst of all the trials and the tribulation and the persecution that we face, he calls us to stand for him in the midst of all that we go through. You see, the scripture reminds us that the race is not for the swiftest, but for those who endure to the end. In James chapter 1 and 12, the word of God says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast on the trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. And so, my brothers and sisters, we are called, in spite of, to endure, endure the hardship, endure the persecution, Endure the trials. Stand firm. Stay faithful. Stay focused. Stay encouraged. Because there is a better day. This is the better way. There is reward for being faithful. There is reward for those who endure to the end. And so my brothers and sisters, Jesus reminds us but in this world, we will face persecution. He says, all who would be my followers will face persecution. But he calls us to stand firm, 
stand firm in the midst of all that is happening in our world. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyr George triumphed over suffering and was faithful even to death, Grant us who now remember him in thanksgiving to be so faithful in our witness to you in this world that we may receive with him the crown of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. And please share this devotion with as many persons as possible. God bless you. Have a blessed and a spirit-filled day.